Hello and welcome to the second semi-final of the Wee Course Challenge. This week, we have ex-European Tour player Peter Whiteford taking on his big brother, Stuart Whiteford, in what is sure to be an extra needly affair. To describe the action, we have on-course commentators Donna Mackay and Scott Rose. My chances of winning are, um, I, I, I would say, reasonably high. Um, I don't think the competition here is very good. Um, but, you know, it's a small golf course. I don't have to have a driver, it's tremendous, I'm looking forward to it. Well, this is my domain, Donald. Uh, you know, this is short, it's all about feel, it's about shot shaping, it's about touch. Um, you know, yeah, if it was a big wide open field, 7,900 yards, Peter would have the advantage, but um, not around here. Playing against Stuart, I well know his frailties, mentally weak, uh, get a bit yippy. I reckon the fifth hole, he's got no chance, it'll probably finish up in the farm, so, you know, if, at least if I'm level par with two to go up on it. Uh, I'm not looking forward to playing Peter. Uh, but growing up, you know, I was much better than Peter. Uh, and over the last few years, he's played a bit more golf and he's got on the European Tour, but it's a few years ago now, Donald, and um, it's not the PGA Tour. <coughs> so here they are on the first hole of the day. Wait a minute, you're using a tee? <laughs> yeah! 65 yards! Tee. Well, Peter, if you ever get a chance of a perfect lie, you should always take it. That's what I was always told. Here's Stuart to the first hole. Well, he's pulled it a little left. Mm, that's not a bad effort at all. Chance of a birdie. Here's Peter's reply. Oh, no! Oh, that's not great. So, Stuart, <clears throat> you're the first person so far to hit the green at the first. It's so a tough it? hole. It's a tough hole. Uh, it doesn't surprise me, it's 70 yards. There's no trouble around the green. But you know, I've got these. <laughs> Pete's attempt for birdie at the first. Sure, he'd be delighted with a two pot from here. It's not a bad lag and they are pretty stiff I think. Well, Stuart's asking him to put a spot on that one. Peter does not like to be asked to hold two foot putts. Here's Stuart for his birdie to go one up. He's left it a little low. And I think it could well be a half and three. Let's get this for the half. Don't feel comfortable. Oh, well, well, done. well done. Well done. Good half there, gents. He's hanging in well. I'm going to pull a putt from one and a half foot. <laughs> Here's the second hole. Stuart Whiteford, seven iron. Oh, it started left. It's caught the tree and just fell down next to the tree. Tough hole this second hole, obviously. Scott nearly hit it, OB. Well, let's see what Peter can do. He's got an eight iron. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Fire! <laughs> oh, and it's over there. Just missed the green right. So not a green hit again. On these Chippy Pro videos, he would probably chip this in. But this is one take. Yeah, nobody really wants to be reminded of those Chippy Pro videos. Particularly Stuart. Oh, it's a little bit shy. Not happy with that, Donald. Doesn't like it. What's, what's the verdict? Not, not too chuffed with that one. I'm not happy with that. Ah, uh, it's soft as you like. No happy. That was that wasn't great, guys. Stuart for par at the second hole. Oh come on, Scott, get out of the way. Cameramen are meant to be invisible. Poor show. Here's Stuart. Oh, staying on line. Oh, 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 oh it just lips out. <gasps> unlucky, Stuart. <laughs> yeah, Peter. Typically lacking some real social skills there. 
But here he is for the par to win the hole. Oh, a dismal effort. All right. <coughs> Can we start trying now? This is pathetic. You ever heard of Never Up, Never In, Pete? Yes. So here's the golf swing of Peter Whiteford, ex-European Tour player. And as he winds up into the backswing, you can see it's a golf swing that produces a lot of power. But it's also a golf swing that produces a fair amount of inaccuracy. Always known in Tour for his colourful scorecards and his ability to follow a high finish with a couple of missed cuts. He's always been a little bit like Forrest Gump. You never really know what you're going to get. The front on view you can see it looks very orthodox. There doesn't really seem to be a lot that can go wrong in Peter's swing but my goodness, there is. When he's hot he's hot but when he's cold he can be absolutely freezing. Today he seems to be a little bit lukewarm but surely if you can just hold one or two putts and hit one or two better shots he should be able to see off his big brother no bother at all. Let's go and see what happens. So here they are at the third tee. <coughs> what was your thought process in this whole, uh, Scott? Uh, don't chunk it in the water, don't thin it through the back. Uh, uh, chunked it through the back, so... <laughs> chunked it through the back? Yeah, technically I did do, <laughs> do what I wanted to do. <laughs> Put those two negatives together and made a shot. <laughs> two negatives make a positive. <laughs> Correct. Right, right. Come on, me. Right, so here's Stuart Whiteford on this 83-yard hole. Wants to land it just short and bumble it up, just the same as Donald did earlier on. Nice. Nice looking swing. Oh, good. Jump up. Oh, that's perfect. You that's like that good. one just below the hole? Here's Peter. Looking a bit scruffy. <laughs> Sounded heavy. Looking pretty good. Well, he got away with that one, that's a good result. <laughs> so Stuart, all square throw two. Hold on your own against the next European Tour Pro and you actually probably should have been one up. I feel robbed, to be honest. Uh, you know, I, I should be one up, but the these stupid cups, <laughs> you know? What's your opinion on the cups, Pete? And the cups are pretty good if you ask me. <laughs> Not much sympathy, but here he is for his birdie at the third. Oh, he's a little firm. And Stuart's in there testing the distance there with his butter. No gimme. Put a mark on that one, Peter. Here's Stuart for his birdie to win the hole, to go one up at the third. Oh, he's leapt out again. Had to be here. He's not happy. The toy, toys are nearly coming out the pram. Nobody cares. Pete's got a bit of pressure on this one to stay level, he's hanging on in there at the moment. Crowd go hush. He's made it, well done. Always so interested to dive into the mind of a tour pro, Pete. Talk us through the shot. Uh, it is 127, a hair, a hair downwind, should be a wedge. A nice soft wedge, but I kind of feel you don't want to go big and you can probably hack and hammer a 52. Mm. And your process, Stuart? And a wedge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always better to keep it simple, folks. Here he is, fourth hole. 124 yards, pitching wedge. Try to draw it in. Didn't draw. It's on the green. Back to the tee, here's Peter getting ready. Stuart struggling with his pencil bag. You alright? Keep your distance in, please. You better push with this club, I'll be honest. Oh, come on, nobody really wants to know your excuses, Peter. Here he is with a 52 degree wedge. Full shot. Oh! That could so be good. Thin. It's a wee bit past the flag. He's just over the green here. Good shot right down the target, but just off the back of the green here. Just always mark, uh, fix your pitch marks, folks. Yeah, well done, but nobody really likes a 
Teacher's pet. Yes, Stuart. Oh, go. First birdie. Needs to get up. Fine, stick away. Oh, come on. The whole half and three, so it's still all square through four. Oh, it's all going to plan. So, fifth hole. First time we've seen it this morning because uh, Donald won early doors. A little bit of a longer hole. I've got to feel Pete's at the advantage here. Correct. That was my pre, pre-match pre talk, Scott. Level par through the first few and then two holes to go, it's all over. Mm. Stuart's going to hook this onto the farm. He's going to get a little bit, oh, I don't want to go right and knee. Watch the, all I'm watching, I'm not even going to watch the ball, just watch the knees. I think you should focus on the knees. Because they disappear. Fight and talk. <laughs> it's not my favourite hole, but to be honest, I, I, Peter's lost it, hasn't he? He's not quite the player he used to be. <laughs> Well, never a truer word said. Here's Stuart at the fifth hole. He's got a six iron. Oh no. Oh no. It's a golf shot. But on the green, which is always a good shot here. Based on the absolutely a tough putt across the ridge. Stuart safely aboard the green here. All the pressure on the, the younger Whiteford brother, believe it or not. I know he looks older, but he is the younger one. <laughs> yeah, you're right there, Scott. He does look a bit older. It's those it's those grey hairs. He greyed well before his time, Peter. Those scruffy clothes don't help. That Mizuno shirt must be 15 seasons old now. Anyway, here it goes. Oh. <laughs> this is not feeling very good today. A bit right. Yeah, when I say a little bit, I'm being very kind. It's about 40 yards right. He's not going to be too chuffed with that one, I don't think. So Peter surveying his shot from way right to the screen. Looks as though, you know, it's been a long walk. I don't know. I think he's maybe pacing it off. It's that far no, from no. the green. That tree could be in the way unless he's going to play a low one. Let's see these two skills. Are they still honed? Well, I'm not sure he ever really had the shot for this one, Donald. Let's see how he gets on. Well, he's hit the green. Listen, listen, you'll moan, you'll moan about that bounce, right? Are you happy with that one, Peter? I tried to almost hook it in. It was a bad idea. I tried to hook it in. Oh, oh. Two putts is all I need. It's all I need. Well, Peter does have a 15-footer for a three, but that's probably unlikely based on his current form with the putter. So Stuart, potentially two putts for the hole. Oh, he's, he's giving it the fingers. He's, he's gone at least four feet past there. He's not going to be chuffed. Oh, oh, he's not even looking at cameras. He's enough. Stuart reminds me off a lot of like, was it Xander Shoffley last week that did that? Simple two putt, could win the tournament. Knocks it five feet past and then moans about the horseshoe. Well, Peter sounds like he's clutching at straws here. <laughs> what was that? He's talking bad thoughts. But here he is for his three at the fifth. Oh, I peeled the hell out of it. This is bad. This is bad, it's not good. He's not getting a fine for bad language yet, just yet though. He's uh, cheered to draw first blood. He's smiling, but we don't know whether he's nervous or happy. Uh, please go in, go in. Well, those aren't the noises of a confident golfer. But let's see if he can knock it in to go one up. <laughs> in. in for the hole to go one up. No, it's not in. It's not in, it's not in, folks. That's got to be in. <laughs> right, so Stuart's wanting me to be nice and say, oh, it was a nice putt. It's happened twice to you. In fact, there's a lip out as well. Why don't we just, just shake hands and call it you've won? No. A game of golf, it's got to finish in the hole. 
but it's with these. Do you want to play just some rules? Should we play allowed a wee throw if you're in the rough? Pete, I have yeah, a question. Play some rules and not other rules. Mum rules, Pete. Nick, I'm just saying we play by the rules. You don't play by the rules. I'm first to admit I probably should have lost already. <laughs> Pete, quick question: The nice guys win on tour? No, nice guys go nowhere in this world. Last hole in regulation, all square in the sixth. I would say Stewart's probably. Oh yeah. The favourite no. here. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do not feel very golfy today. Come on, Donald. Do you know what? There's got to be something hidden under here, somewhere deep down. Hundred. One twenty-four. Yeah, one hundred twenty-four yards this hole, but they're playing two or three yards forward. This is a gap wedge. He'll need all of it. Up, it's good. It's looking pretty good. It's just that length you keep flipping out. Well, let's see what Peter's reply is. He's looking a bit uncomfortable. I've got an edge. I don't think I've seen him look this uncomfortable since John Parrymore was dragging him off the course at the Indian Open in 2012. Anyway, here he goes. Get down, get down. A good shot just past the pin. But Stuart just slightly closer, so it's so all down to the putting. Match remains all square. It's <laughs> 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 nothing to do with me. His looks extremely horrible though. Well, this often happens, folks, when People get a bit uncomfortable, a bit nervy, they start to get a bit giggly, start to find things funny that other people aren't. Anyway, here he goes, this for us too, to put the pressure on. He likes it. Oh, it lips out though. That was an actual lip out, that didn't hit the hole. Pick up, right. But he's in for three. Only way he's going to miss this if he puts too much brake on it. Too much break, it doesn't come back. Peter trying the main games. Stuart for the win. Well, this is a big putt for Stuart. Probably wants to start it just outside the right lip and just die it in the front edge. He's <laughs> oh, just slipped past it. The game's I tell you, all square. So, how do you how do you feel, Stuart, after that six holes? And we're now going to the first extra hole. Well, if there's ever been a man that deserves to win a game more, I'm yet to meet him than me. <laughs> and, and, and Peter, do you do you feel? Oh no, I feel like I've got out of jail there. But then we're going to the first, which is closer to the hole from. So, oh, no, one extra hole first, and then closer to the hole right, if it's still deadlock. Ah, oh, it's fine. We'll be alright there. We'll be fine. Right, so back to the first for sudden death. Play off hole number one. Oh, it's nice. This one's looking good though. A wee bit past the hole, though, not a lot of spin on it, and the short shot. But does Peter have anything left in the tank? So high and ringing. Oh, it's pretty good, just. Well, those bouncy steps suggest he's quite pleased with that one. <laughs> so Pete's talking away, he reckons he'll hold 8 out of 10 from that distance. Well, he's talking confidently, but under the hood is, is the confidence really there. Peter has been involved in three playoffs as a professional golfer, and he has a solid 100% record in those playoffs. Three losses. Anyway, here's Stuart for his birdie. Needs to give it a chance. He's left it short, right in the jaws, but short. He's disappointed there, disappointed there. Look of frustration on his face. I can't believe we got a chance to win after the drivel I've produced. Drivel! Got most of it from your mouth. <laughs> so Pete to win the match at the first extra hole in his first playoff professional victory. Well, we saw this putt earlier on and uh, 
He needs to start this just on the right lip. No, I mean, he's missed it, so we're now going to closest to the hole, folks. Well, last chance for both these guys. They need to pull their socks up and hit a good one. Here's Stuart. Oh, he looks good. Oh, dances round about the hole. Oh, he's delighted. He's delighted. He's really put the pressure on now. He's in there to about five feet. So the pressure's really on, Peter. Yeah, and he always tells us that driving is the weak part of his game, Donald, but I'm not so sure he's good at this either. Here he goes. He needs to beat five feet. Oh, no. Oh, he doesn't like it. It's gone right. And that's game over, folks. <laughs> well done. Glad it off. Shake your hand. Oh, shit. Yeah, in my face. <laughs> Awful. Okay, Pete, um, you've just been beaten on the second playoff hole. Um, are you now the other Whiteford brother? I am, yeah. Look, any good pro makes up excuses. My excuse is, I got here late this morning. <laughs> so I run about like a headless chicken. Brain wasn't in it. Hit really bad shots. In fact, Stuart outplayed me every single time. Like, I, I didn't deserve to get through. He, he hold too many putts and they bounced out. Um, so it's fine. Look, when you get beaten by a guy that played better than you, it's all good. So that's it folks, the favourite is out, Peter is out and Stuart moves on where he'll meet old man Donald Mackay in the final to see who will become champion of the Wee Course 2020. So make sure and tune in to watch that one folks uh, and make sure and tune in every week and listen to our Top Golf Scotland podcast and if you're ever passing Wells Green pop in and play the Wee Course it really is worth a game. Okay, we'll see you next time. <laughs>